Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to the Night Owl server. Today, uh, not exactly sure what we're going to be doing today, but I do have a few things I want to do first, or at least one thing, I guess a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to show this off. I've been busy enchanting. Um, I had the idea, or I've wanted to ever since they updated the enchanting. So that it's, you know, a lot cheaper and you just have to spend lapis. I've wanted to uh, go and enchant a bunch of stuff and I finally did it. And so I'm working on four full sets of armor. Uh, one with protection, one with projectile protection, one with fire protection, and then one with blast protection. And just to have like a full set of armor in each and then I can just mix and match depending on what I'm doing. Like if I'm going to the nether, I can wear more fire protection than other things. Honestly, I probably won't wear blast protection too often. Uh, there's not really much point in that unless I'm going to go into like a big creeper nest or something, uh, which I don't know how I would do that. But anyways, I still want it just, you know, to have it. And then, uh, yeah, and then obviously protection, projectile protection will be, uh, well, really protection will be the main thing I wear. But uh, anyway, so I did that and... I got some tools. Um, I don't really have too many swords. I mean, I have a bunch of swords, but most of these have Bane of Arthropods. Uh, a lot of them were from before. Uh, so those are mostly junk. Uh, but I do have a Smite 4, a really good sword. And then I have the Sharpness 5, really good sword, which is the one that I use most of the time. And then I already had these bows pretty uh, good bows, and now I can actually repair them, which is nice. Uh, but I do have a backup. And then I got a bunch of picks. I have four Silk Touch picks, <laughs> just because. Uh, one work pick, I think I... Yeah, I think that's the only work pick that I really have. Just a regular Efficiency 5 on Breaking pick. And then a couple of Fortune 3 picks. A few axes and a few shovels. Uh, I don't think... Yeah... This one, and I guess this one's kind of a work shovel. And then that one's Silk Touch. Uh, this one needs to get some stuff on it. But uh, basically, I wanted to do that. And now I want to stop using the Ender Farm uh, for XP. Because it's, it's a lot easier to enchant. And I can actually repair stuff now. And so I think it would be a lot more fun to stay away from XP farms. And get my XP through uh, fortuning things. And... Uh, you know, fighting mobs and such, and, you know, other things, breeding cows, which actually I should do, uh, but I'll do that later. But yeah, so I'm going to try and get, or I am going to get my XP more organically right now, instead of, uh, you know, going to XP farm and getting a bunch of XP that way, and just uh, repairing my tools and enchanting right here. But uh, first off, uh, we got this stuff from VT. <clears throat> from VT a little or for Christmas and I don't really want to use it for myself um, because I've never really fought a wither and the first wither I want to fight I want to actually uh, you know collect my own wither skulls so I finally figured out what I want to do with this I'm going to make a beacon for spawn and I'm going to fight it kind of a cheaty method that uh, VT showed off. So I'm going to get some armor just in case things go bad, and then I'm going to go get set up, and uh, I'll I'll join you when when the time comes. All right, I got it all set up here, and if you can't tell, I'm going to use some iron golems to kill the wither. And apparently, it takes two iron golems. Uh, so I'm just down underground by or in my mine shaft so i'm gonna spawn these guys first and then oh, it's not supposed to be on there uh there we go and then we'll pop these on and there we go all right so <laughs> so yeah those guys are uh going after him pretty crazy and oh wow and look how fast they're going after him. Holy cow, it's so loud. Oh, man. Yay. I win. 
<laughs> that was fun. And I got the nether star. Awesome. My first nether star. Uh, let's turn... I guess now, after it's all done, let's turn the sounds down. Wow. Poor guys. You guys fought valiantly. I think I'm gonna... If you don't die, I'm gonna leave you here. Are you, are you gonna die? Let's turn those... There we go. That's better. I'm just curious. Are they... They got wither. Let's see. I think there's a... Is there a cave up here? They're still withered. Poor guys. Ooh, gold. I like gold. Yay. Yay. More gold. Excellent. Mine? Yeah. There we go. Sounds like they're done being withered, and... They're still alive. Excellent. I'm going to keep these guys. Uh, they're going to stay here for now. But uh, thanks. You guys You guys fought valiantly. Great job. I, I commend you for your services. And I'll, I guess I'll see you later. Maybe we'll have to do something with these guys. Maybe keep them down wandering around in here. Uh, it's not tall enough in here, but I could, uh, could raise the roof and have them just kind of hang out down here. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go set up this beacon uh, somewhere in spawn. All right, so I've never crafted a beacon before, so I figured I should probably get this on camera. Ooh, fancy bacon. Delicious. Uh, and you might be wondering where I am right now. I am actually in one of our new server members' houses. Uh, work in progress, obviously. Uh, this is Tiger's, uh, yeah, Tiger's house. Uh, we recently got two new members on the server, Tiger and Chadward. Uh, they were both participated in the Night Owl sub server UHC, or Night Owl sub UHC. Um, and we decided to kind of invite them on after that. So I'll maybe check out uh, Chad's house. It's actually over by my house, but first of all, we got to take care of this beacon. So I have, I have all the layers under there, I think at least. So yeah, awesome. And I have a hole in the roof with glass. So let's just get up out of here and get that down. And then I'm going to put, well, I guess I need to change this. So I want speed. Speed is good. Uh, speed two, excellent. So yeah, so now we'll have, now we'll have more speed. Yes. Wait, why isn't it speed two? Shouldn't it? Is this, is that right? I don't know. I don't use beacons too often. Oh, speed two. There we go. So that's why I need to do speed two. And now we have speed two. Awesome. All right. So now we have speed. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was smart of me. That's not what I wanted to put there. That's what I wanted. And it's still, still speed two, right? Yeah. And that's what I wanted to put there. Nice white glass. So it kind of blends in with the floor. Now we have a nice beacon over here. And we have a little bit more. A little bit more speed around spawn. I kind of want to put some more beacons around here. I wonder if we... Yeah, it seems like if we run all the way over here, we can actually... Yeah, we get speed pretty much... Uh, pretty much from, like, the farms all the way over to the cathedral now, which is really nice. Uh, but I want to stick a couple more, maybe one over that way more, and... At least one over, like, by the restaurants. Um, just so that we can have speed and stuff all the way around spawn. But uh, that's later project. I only had those three wither skulls. Or I do have another one in my ender chest that I actually got myself. But uh, I just had those ready for, uh, for wither killing. But anyways, uh, I guess we'll go back to my house real quick. Alright, so I had to run back to my house to grab uh, this thing. Fortune 3 uh, pickaxe, because we have some stuff to fortune uh, out at our new base, the Mega Spruce Taiga. Um, but first, before we go out there, I wanted to check this out. This is Chadward's, uh, Chadward's Pyramid. It's very big and beautiful. I like it. It's, it's nice. Uh, and I like that he's actually building out in this desert. And kind of uh, 
making it look a little bit better since we basically stripped the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, not too much inside yet. Looks like he's got a little tree farm going at the moment, but uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, that looks cool. That's new from the last time I saw. I like that. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a pretty big, nice, uh, nice design for a build. So I'm excited to have uh, our two new members. But uh, anyways, I guess I'll head out to the Mega Spruce Taiga. All right, so here we are out at the Mega Spruce Taiga. Hello, zombie. And I've actually been I've been doing some strip mining recently. Um, a few days ago, I went right down here, and let's jump down. Right down here, and I've been doing a little bit of strip mining. Uh, I basically dug a three-wide tunnel really far that way, and really far that way, uh, just to kind of start it off. And then I did a branch down there and a branch down there, and we got some good stuff. I have, I have like 60 diamond ore to fortune, which is really nice. And as well as some other odds and ends. Lots of stone, smooth stone, since I was using a silk touch pickaxe for all that. And there's that skeleton dungeon that I need to um, do something with soon. Which I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. I want to turn it into a, hopefully a very efficient uh, food source. I want, to put a, I want to put a bone meal farm so that I can bone meal wheat. And then a cow farm right in there. So while I'm bone mealing wheat and feeding cows, or breeding cows, where am I going? Uh, I'm also getting bone meal from the skeletons. Yeah, lots of, lots of iron. Lots of iron. I thought there would be more gold. Oh yeah, <laughs> this stuff still hasn't smelted all the way. Uh, but yeah, so we have 60 diamond ore. I have tons of coal from before, actually. When I first went caving throughout here... Um, there's not a lot of caves that drop down real low, and so I was basically, you know, all I could really find was coal and iron, so I, I think I went and grabbed pretty much all the coal, uh, just so I, I would have it. And let's get rid of that stuff, we don't need that. Uh, so I got these diamonds to fortune, and then I also have all of this, all this beautiful nether quartz. I went on a run the other day, and I got all this, and it's delicious. Delicious and beautiful. I suppose I shouldn't take it all right away, because I won't have... Well, yeah, let's take it all right away. Then we can place it and fortune it. So I'm going to be doing that, and uh, then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see how much I get, I guess, out of it. Wow. I've never seen something so pretty. That's beautiful. Look at look at this. Oh, I just want to hug it. This is a solid a solid chunk of quartz. Plus some plus some diamonds. Just a little bit. Only sixty. But yeah, that's each layer is a stack, so that's that's quite a bit. That's a lot of stacks. And I'm so happy. Now I'm gonna tear it all down and and just yeah. So much quartz. I I know I'm gonna be disappointed at like how much actual quartz blocks I get. It's always going to be less than than what you actually want, but it it should it should last me quite a while, at least a little while. Uh, should be able to get some more, a good chunk of this done, um, with with all that. So I'm gonna chop this down or mine it down or pick it down, I guess. All right, the towers are all or the tower is all gone and the diamonds as well. This is what I ended up with, uh, 14 stacks of quartz blocks. And almost two stacks of diamonds. Pretty good. So, yeah. Not as good as I had hoped with the quartz, like I said. I think I had like 26 uh, stacks of ore. And that went down to 14. So not great. Um, I kind of... Actually, I'm actually su surprised. I thought you would get more than... I mean, that's almost like half of what I had. Uh, I figured each ore would give you like three to four, but... I guess not. Oh well. Um, and the diamonds are pretty nice. I should. I think I'm have a stack of diamonds back at my uh, spawn base. And now here, uh, I'm not sure exactly what this translates to. 
Uh, 13 blocks. Awesome. So, oh, and another block there. So a stack plus 15 blocks at least. Actually, I probably have a stack plus 16 blocks because I'm sure uh, with the loose diamonds I have here and at my spawn base, I have another, uh, I have another block. But now uh, we're going to build. We're going to spend the rest of the episode building, uh, working on this thing. I want to get the storage room done, which is our next building. So I'll have to kind of clear out these trees and take a look at my creative build and see what I got worked out there. And then we'll get started. All right, so I should be ready to go. Got everything that I should need. All my chests and some stuff to make uh, tripwire hooks so I can make trap chests. And I had to make an iron axe because uh, I forgot to bring an axe, uh, which is which is silly of me. Um, I knew I'd forget something coming out here, and that's what I forgot. Uh, so let's get started. I gotta build the outside first, and I got I got a screenshot that I'm kind of going off of here. Go like this, and honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do with this hallway here. <laughs> I I've played around with that in creative uh for a bit and I have a few ideas but I'm not exactly sure uh what I want to do but it's not it's not true critical which is you know it's all right um I'll just have to play around with it as I go or and then that goes there then we just have some more rings I love my rings. Got to have nice rings for a nice tube. And then like that. And then I think we do the same thing, but all in the black stained clay. Eh, can't reach. There we go. And get rid of that one. And then go, this one goes out. Let's see, how does this go? It goes green. And then green here. This one kind of goes out a little bit. And then brown on top. And then another green. And then like that. And then this goes straight across. Uh, just like, oh no, just like that. And then green, brown, brown, green, green. There we go. So that is our connecting tunnel. Pretty cool. Uh, yep, that looks right. Pretty cool. Uh, so now we'll actually start on the um, the chest part. So let's see, I had it like that. Yeah. And then the actual parts with the chest. It's gonna be. Uh, there's gonna be three. Uh, three wide um, like bands of quartz that go around here just like I'm making right now so this will be too tall and then it goes back to stair and then stair again going around here and then it'll be slabs some nice quartz slabs just like this and then actually let's start back down at the bottom that'll be easier like that and then stair and then uh, too high like that and stair again and stare again. All right, so there's our our quartz band that's gonna go around our chest. And let's get rid of all this dirt. I also forgot a shovel. You know, I knew I was gonna forget something coming out here. And yep, <laughs> I always do. That's the problem with having two bases. So there is our the base for our storage room. And I guess I'll. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. It might just kind of be floating in the air I guess um, or I might actually put like half or I might put slabs like at this level like this 
So it's kind of continues the round shape. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided because, yeah, this, this elevation drops. And so I'm either going to have to make this thing kind of drop down with it. Or I'm going to have to make it go straight across and have it be on stilts. Which is one idea that I had at the beginning. Is to basically have like um, a base that's up off the ground and on stilts. But I don't know how that would work or how how that would look now. So our chests are going to be here like this. And I'm not sure. I think this first one, I'm only going to have three chests high. But I believe the second one. Dang it, why are you facing the wrong way? I think, like I said, I'm going to have three sections of chests. And I think the second one is going to be uh, four chests tall. And then the third one will also be only three chests tall like this one. So let's get, uh, let's get the regular chests in. So there's that. And then, let's see, I had this floor. I actually had it like going like this. And I think it meets up kind of right there. So it'll be kind of above the chest a bit, which is not a problem. All right, I actually kind of like it like that. And actually, I think these are going to make stairs. Uh, so if we do stair there, and then I think we're going to need a solid block behind that because we'll be able to see it through the chest. Uh, stair there, stair there, solid block, stair there, and then that goes there, stair there, stair, stair, block, stair. So that'll be like that, and that's kind of the... Uh, the border and then this we can have chests like that and I think I think I might need stairs kind of facing this way which is gonna be a little complicated and I believe yeah I think I had the roof going like this and then I just need the stairs above here actually no I don't I can just use slabs again if I have the roof like this. Oh, shoot. So we'll put slabs across here. That way we can still open the chest. And just like that. So there's our roof for this section. And then we'll have uh, the next section. Um, and I might just need to play with this hallway uh, off camera. I know I kind of took these out. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to play with this hallway, maybe. And actually, I'm going to go sleep right now, too. All right, so uh, I think before we do anything else, though, I'm going to finish this off. Um, so, or I'm going to actually probably build another compartment, I guess. So this was like, eh, go there. Um, hello, why are you angry at me? It's daytime, silly. Maybe you should uh, look up at the sky every once in a while. All right. Um, and then that just goes straight across, but I don't have anything to put it connected to. So I'll have to get up there. And like that. Then I can go put that there, there. Boom, boom, and boom. All right. So that connects the, that, that, that connects that right there. <laughs> That'll connect the different, com the compartments, I guess. Not really compartments, but the different uh, chest areas. And then here we're going to do the same thing that we did over there. So we'll kind of make the ring that goes around. Nope. We'll make the ring that goes around like that. And do the same thing over here. And boom. Boom. That looks about right. There we go. So there's uh, the ring before the next compartment. 
And then next compartment will be the exact same thing. With uh, do I have stuff? Yes, I do. Uh, I just I I don't like how quickly you can run through quartz. It's not not good. It is not good at all. Uh, so I think I'll get I think I'll get these rings uh put in place. I guess it's just the same thing as that. All right, <clears throat> there we have it. Um, not. Not sure what I'm gonna do for the bottom yet. Uh, if I'll just, yeah, I'll have to figure out uh, if I want to put like a bottom on here and have it on stilts uh, as it continues on. Um, or let's see, yeah, yeah, it kind of just drops down over here, which is really not great. Uh, yeah, I thought before it would be good for that, but now I'm not so sure. Uh, one other thing is I could build up the land a bit and do a lot of landscaping to get it up to this high height. Or I could, you know, I could build up this area up to here and then have the tube, like for the next compartment, kind of drop down and kind of make sure that I design that into it later um, or throughout the rest of the tube that it actually drops down. But... I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to uh, think about that. You know, tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, everything's pretty much done. All we need to do is add lighting. Uh, this is what I came up with for the tunnel, the transition tunnel. I think it's not too bad. It worked out pretty nice. And then here's all my chests. Uh, like I said, I got nine chests there, and then 12, and then nine. So that should be plenty of space, plenty of uh, plenty of room to put things in. Um, now we just need lighting. So let's see. I left this open because I'm gonna put some lighting right here, and then let's let's see how is this. This was like that. Yeah, it's hard to get through here sometimes. And this was like that. Um, actually, I wonder if this should be like this. Uh, I don't know if, yeah, maybe. I kind of like that a little bit better. No, not like that. What am I stuck on? There we go. Oh, and then it breaks all of them. Hmm, I might need to adjust this hallway because it's, <laughs> you get stuck in it. Although it's just because I'm moving kind of sideways more. These hallways are very much designed for uh, just going straight through. Because <laughs> if you move around too much uh, side to side, then you just kind of get bounced around. It's really annoying. Uh, so, yeah, we got lighting there then. That lights that up pretty well. And then we can put, we can put one up here. Uh, just like that. And then, oh yeah, that lights that up pretty well. And then we'll have another one right here. Come on, server. You can do it. There we go. Now we'll put that up there. And we can't put one up here because there's not enough space to power it. Uh, and I don't want to use glowstone. I'm not a big fan of using glowstone. And I don't like this lighting glitch here. Um... There's not much we can do about that. That's just kind of how it has to be, I guess. Makes it almost look like uh, light gray clay or something. Uh, let's see, how's the block light? That's a big. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter block light because this is half or this is slabs, so no mobs can spawn here anyway. So actually, this should work pretty well. I think that keeps it lit up pretty well. I mean, it's it's daytime, so it's kind of hard to see exactly. But if we do that, that should cover up all the skylight. Maybe not. Maybe it still lets the skylight in. Uh, let's let's try and cover that up. Just so we can... Oh, it's getting through the chest. That's why. Um, Alright. Eh, eh. There we go. Just cover this all up, and then we'll see how that... Uh, how the lighting looks. 
So Skylight still says 11, so maybe it is getting through this crack. And it still says 10. Why does why is the skylight so high? Hmm. Oh, I wonder if it's getting Oh yeah, that's where it's coming through. Um but let's see. I'm not sure, but that doesn't really affect it uh much cuz it's coming through that block. And it's skylight 11 right here, whereas it's block light 13, so it's not affecting the look any, any more than uh, the redstone lamp is. So this is how dark it'll be in the center. It's not too bad. Uh, I, think, I think that'll work. Um, one thing I could do is I could lower this floor, and then I could put a redstone lamp in the floor. So I could do... Uh, ooh, there's a stair. How'd you get underneath here? Eh, give it. Yay. There we go. Okay, so I could do a floor like this. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> uh, well, I could... I'll just use a redstone block for now. And then light that up. So that lights that up pretty well. Um... But then I do have kind of dips down, which isn't too bad. I don't know. It's that versus this. I do kind of like it all on one level. Again, I'll, I'll have to think about it, tinker around with it, play around with it, you know, see what I like. But I'm liking this base. I say that, I think I say that every episode we work on this, but I'm liking this space, which is a good thing, I suppose that I'm actually liking what I'm building. I hope you guys are liking it too. Uh, I'm really having a good time designing this base. It's definitely a lot different than anything I've ever done, which is always a good thing um, to you know, try new things and play around with new ideas. Uh, but I think that will be the end of the episode. So thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And until next time, goodbye, peoples.